hello to all of you guys out there. Welcome to the Winter School Exam Revision. I am Lingile Kama Zibuga, and yes, I am your presenter for today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I hope you guys are amped up for today's show. It is all of our two great talks out there. As you all know, it is the June exams, and we are making sure that you guys are ready and you are seriously, seriously amped up for the exams. Um, we are doing physical science today, <laughs> and we've got Should Tracy in that, studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I nearly forgot what we're doing, but don't worry, I, I know my stuff. I got this thing, you know. We are doing physical science, and Tracy is in studio. Hi, Tracy. I am. Fine. How are you? I am awesome. Like, how could you not remember that when I'm in studio, we're doing science? No, I remember it. It's just, you know, some things in JA in life. Long day, eh? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Good, good. Ready for this? We've got some stunning questions all physics okay so all paper one questions but you guys really have found such nice questions that we're going to be able to cover some really nice content so um well done guys these are very very nice questions okay yeah thank you to everybody who's been sending through your questions and in case you haven't sent yours it's okay. You can. You still have time. You can do it. That is questions at learn.co.za. That is where you can simply send us all your questions. If you have issues of emails and whatnot, it's okay. We've got Facebook. That is www.facebook.com forward slash mindset TV. Well, I'm going to stop talking for now and hand over to Tracy for oh, you guys. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Now, Arnold sent in this question. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get him on the line, but we are taking a call a little later, which is going to be great. And... Grade 12s, please don't forget that grade 11, Newton's laws, 1, 2, and 3, and gravitation are all examinable. Okay, so you might not have done much revision on it, but it's all going to be examined and can be examined in the same amount of detail as it was in grade 11. Okay, so don't think, oh, it'll be nice and easy, because it doesn't have to be. All right, so just be careful with that one. This is our diagram. And it's unusual because they don't often ask, ask ones like this, but it's a really nice one. It says, in the diagram below, a one kilogram mass and a two kilogram mass are connected by an inextensible string. Now, please don't get stressed out about what that means. It simply means that it doesn't stretch. So the string is going to stay whatever length it is. The string's not going to have any say in how the system moves. We're just trying to make it a bit easier. Of negligible mass, once again, we can ignore the mass. That's also important because remember, acceleration, force, all are influenced by mass. Then they tell you the string is passed over a light frictionless pulley. Yay, we like the word frictionless. Makes our lives so much easier. So the mass hang down as shown. Initially, this system is stationary. In other words, we set the system up, somebody's probably holding the two mass pieces, and then we see what happens. Now, the first thing they ask you to do is draw a free, a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the two kilogram mass. The nice thing, grade 12s, is this in an exam would be worth two marks. That's quite important because those two marks tell me that there's only two forces acting on the object. So if we draw more than two forces, and they're not because we've done it into components, then we know we've made a mistake. So they want a free body diagram of the two kilogram mass piece. And if we look at it, it's actually quite nice looking at it like this. We go, well, the two kilogram mass piece has to have weight, okay, because it's going to be pulling down. But now it's a two mark question. So something's got to be pulling it up. And we look at it and we go, well, this one kilogram mass is going to have an influence. And what's going to happen is the one kilogram mass is going to cause an upward force on that two kilogram. And that's going to be tension. So, a free body diagram will look like this. So, this is question one. Free body diagram means that it has to be a dot, not a box. We have F, okay, I'm going to label this in a second, all right? Fully labeled means you have to explain to me what each of these forces are. Now, we can do it where we say this is weight, okay, and I can put this as tension. If you give it a label. So, for example, this can also be lowercase w, 
This can also be Fg. Tension can be written as a T. Tension can be written as Ft. Either of those are correct. If you use a symbol like T or Ft, W, Fg, etc., you then have to put a key. So you have to go tension. T is the tension. All right? Or you have to go W equals weight or the force of gravity. Now, the reason why you need a key is because there's actually lots of different symbols for these. They're all accepted, but we need to make sure that you know what those forces are, what those symbols mean. So that's why they want the label, just to make sure we're all on the same page. And you will lose marks if you don't put the label. Be careful. So that's the first question done. Nice and easy. Now they say to you, second question says, ooh, calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the blocks and the tension in the string. They're asking for magnitude because the blocks are going to accelerate in two different directions. And this is where we've got to understand how the system works. So when we look at our object, the two kilogram block is heavier, has more mass, has a greater force of attraction to the earth than the one kilogram block. So what will happen here is the one kilogram block is going to go up and the two kilogram block is going to go down. That's the way it's going to accelerate. The, these questions, you tend to get a little, oh, I don't know what to do, but it's really not that difficult. These are questions where we set up two equations. So we go, if I've got the one kilogram block and now I have the two kilogram block and I consider them separately, I go, well, the one kilogram block has the tension, which is going to act up and it has its Fg, which acts down. The two kilogram block has Fg, which acts down and tension, which acts up. And this is just for me. I haven't even started answering the question yet. The one kilogram block is going to accelerate upwards. The two kilogram block is going to accelerate downwards. This means that Fg here is smaller than Ft. Fg is bigger than Ft in the two kilogram. We always start these questions by going F net equals Ma. So now we say for the one kilogram block, because it's accelerating upwards, Ft is bigger than Fg. Okay. Now we say, well, I don't know the tension force. Fg is easy to work out because that's its weight. So that means it's going to be 1 times 9,8. The mass is 1. So this means I've got an equation that says Ft minus 9,8 equals A. Great. Now we do the same with the 2 kilogram. Start with F net equals Ma. And how I'm laying out grade 12 is exactly how I would expect it laid out in your in your notes, in your exam. Plus, I'm putting all the one kilogram stuff together. I'm putting all the two kilogram stuff together. It's much easier to mark, and it means you keep everything together. Okay. So with the two kilogram block, it was heavier. So the two kilogram block is going to move down, which means Fg, its weight, is bigger than its tension. Than tension. So Fg is going to be two times nine comma eight minus Ft equals 2a, and I know because I've done this lots, so that's 19,6 minus ft equals 2a. Okay, so I have one equation, I have two equations. Now here, how you solve it from here is up to you. In fact, even at my own school, it's quite funny because me and one of my colleagues, we teach how to solve it from here differently, and the kids get like, oh, it doesn't matter. My colleague likes to do these by substitution. I don't. I like to do it by addition. It doesn't matter. The only reason why I like to do it by addition is it's a check. Now, what do I mean by that? Because look what happens. If I add my two, maybe I should have a pen and not the eraser. If I add the two equations together, so I go Ft minus 9,8 equals A. And I go 19,6 minus Ft equals 2A. And I add those two equations together. If I have set the equations up correctly, the tensions cancel out. 
if my tensions don't cancel out, then I know I've made a mistake. So it's an easy way for me to see whether I've set my equations up correctly because the tensions must cancel because they're in opposite directions on the two objects. So if we go back to this and we go, fine, so now the tensions cancel. So now I've got 19,6. All right, let's do it on the calculator. So now I've got 19,6 minus... 9.8, because it's because that's what will happen if I add them. So it gives me 9,8 here. And a plus 2a is 3a. So now I need to divide my answer by 3. So a is 3, 2. Have a look there. So it's 2, 6, 6, 6, 6. We want to round off to two decimal places. 2,7 meters per second. That's the first part of this question because they said calculate, oh no, I'm doing all sorts of weird things to the computer now, the acceleration, they only wanted magnitude. We go back here and we say, well, have I done that? Absolutely. No direction necessary. We're happy. In terms of the marks, this is five marks. Four of those five marks are in this first part. Let me show you where they'd be. Okay, so you get an idea of where we're going. So there would be a mark for setting up the equations, for using the equations. Then there's a mark for getting that part and that part right with the substitution. Okay, that's four out of your five marks. The last mark is finally is for getting A, which is why it doesn't matter how you get there because we're not marking your maths. We don't care how you get there as long as you get there. Next question was to calculate the tension. Once again, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm a little lazy. Let's just be honest. We don't really like doing lots of maths in these questions. So I would rather use equation one to get tension. Equation one is Ft minus 9,8 equals A. So Ft minus 9,8 equals 3,27. So to get tension, I'm going to go 3,27 plus 9,8. Okay, so let's see what we get. 3.27, ooh, 7, plus 9.8. That ooh, gives me, no, what's it doing? 13,07, okay? 13,07 newtons. I want you to see that it doesn't matter where we put it. So watch what happens if I put it in the other equation. But first of all, before I do that, please show which equation you're using. Don't just go and do a substitution. Show which equation you're using, which is equation one. Let's see what happens if I put it into equation two. I just want you to see that it doesn't matter. Equation two said that 19,6 minus Ft equals 2a. So 19,6 minus Ft is the same as 2 times 3,27. So now 3 times 2.7, oh, no, 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 <laughs> 2 times, let's write, put it properly, 3.27 equals 6,54, okay? So this is 19,6 minus F2 equals 5,64, no, ooh, 6, wow, I'm doing well today, can you tell? <laughs> okay, 6,54, so let's write that down properly. Okay, 6,54. I want Ft on its own, so this is going to be 19,6 minus 6,54 equal to Ft. Okay, so now we go 19.6 work calculator minus 6.54. And we get 13,06. Now, I know that 13,06 isn't exactly the same as 13,07 like I got in the first question. But 
The reason why you get slightly different answers is because of this, because of the rounding off. So if I didn't round off the 3 comma 2 and I left the 3 comma 2, 6, 6, 6, all the numbers in my calculator, I'd get exactly the same answer for both of them. But it's a rounding issue. Don't stress about it. Both answers get accepted. We don't go, oh, well, one's more correct than the other because they're not. It's a rounding issue, so don't stress about it. Okay, either one works. I just prefer the first one because I don't have to worry about the minus in front of the FT. I think it's slightly easier. I didn't have to multiply A by anything. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Okay, so I think it's time for a break. Okay. And then we're going to have a call, huh? No problem. And ooh, we have a nice question for her. <laughs> oh, it is such, it is a really nice question. But before we take a quick ad break, yes. um, on the, there's a part where you wrote in green. Yes. Please check your um, acceleration units. What's wrong with it? It's not correct. It is correct. Really? Yes, because I've got 19.8 divided mm -hmm. by 3. Okay. Which is 3,267. Six 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 seven. So it's three comma two seven. Seven. Okay. Yes. No problem. Did somebody say I was wrong? Somebody. Mm -hmm. No, I promise it's right. Okay. Because we can check. So I'm going to go nineteen point six. Ooh, point six minus nine point eight. I'm okay if somebody says it's wrong, which is nineteen point eight, and a plus two a is three a. So then I divide by three, and I'll even change this into linear. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, let's just put. There we go. So, the, yep, 3,27. Okay. Yep. No problem. No worries. That's okay. All good. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> so, we are going to take a quick ad break, and when we come back, we'll have the caller on the line, and you guys get to enjoy the call with us. So, for now, go and drink some water, and we're back after this quick ad break. 